This is the rosette stitch. It's a four row repeat worked on an even number of stitches. And I'm going to show you row two of the pattern only just because I think that is the row that most people would have trouble with. Rows one and three of the pattern are plain knit rows. And row four is exactly the same as row two except that you purl the first and last stitch of the row. And you can get the written instructions on the blog, which is the weeklystitch.blogspot.com. And for this little sample, I have 14 stitches on my needle. And the yarn is Baby's First by Lion Brand. It's a cotton acrylic blend. And I'm using size 7 needles. And even though this yarn is nice and soft and squishy, I don't really like it because it does this and I hate yarn that does this. So this is probably just going to sit in my stash and collect dust. Or I will probably just use it for samples. But anyway, moving on. The tricky part of this pattern is that you are purling two stitches together and then before you drop them off the left needle, you're also going to knit them together. So to do that, you just purl two together. And if you don't know how to purl two together, it's the next two stitches on your needle. You would just pretend like you're purling one, but you're purling two at the same time. And then the yarn goes to the back of the work, so you're in position to knit. And then knit those same two stitches together. And if you don't know how to knit two together, it's just the opposite of purling two together. You take the two stitches and just work them as if it were only one stitch. Oops. And you're just going to do that all the way across the second row. Purl two together. And then knit the same two together. And then drop off the left needle. And I have a little bit of trouble with this stitch because I'm kind of a tight knitter sometimes. And to get the needle in here to make the knit two together is a little tricky. And I'm not going to bore you with finishing the row here. I think you get the idea of purling two together like this. And then knitting two together like this. And you get this really lovely textured fabric. This is the right side, but if you look at the wrong side, it's not that ugly. I would say that you could probably reverse these if you wanted to. But that is the rosette stitch.